Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I will be showing you how to program email with alarms. In MapR 7000, I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically an HMC 4070. To see how you would program alarms, please refer to the video on the How To Program Alarms tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. You will next configure the email, so go to the email folder, drop down, configure, and in this example I'm using a Gmail account and so I've entered for server smtp.gmail.com and the port number would be 587 for TLS for SSL it would be 465 and then the sender information you can either use a username or you can use the device name so the device would be HMC 4070 and the mailing address that you are using and the password now for Gmail there are two options to do here. Uh, the first option is enabling the less secure app to access your Gmail account. And the second option is to turn on two-step authentication and create an application specific with a password. So when you do two-step authentication, you can create an application and then it gives you a password that you enter right here. To set up Gmail two-step authentication and to receive the password, you will go to your Gmail account, click manage your Google account, go over to security, scroll down, and enable two-step verification. Once you do this, go to app passwords, and here is where you would select an app, go to other, custom name, type in whatever you like and when you select the app and device it will generate an app password and then you would take this password you would type it here under the sender information so once you enter this information you would just hit OK and it gives you a message email configured successfully once you've configured this you will next go to the contact list you'll enter a contact name and mail address to add to the group information so to do that you would go to add, enter your name and an email ID. It will show up here. And then you want to add a recipient group. So you hit add. And then once that happens, you can move this contact name over to the group information by hitting two arrows. And then current group would be group one. And then description can be whatever you like. I just typed email test and then you would hit OK. And then the next thing you'll do is create a new email screen and I've called it alarm status. And here I've created some multilingual text along with some rectangle shapes. And here is a bit text display object. This will display the alarm status. So for each one, I've assigned a tag name temperature out of range, pressure out of range, and no signal alarm. To create the bit text display, go to draw, display objects, data display, bit display, and place it here. And that's all you have to do here on this screen. Once you have all three of these configured, your email is all set. The next thing you would do would set up your alarms, and I showed you how to set this up in a previous video. In this video, I'll show you how to send an email when an alarm occurs. So over to the left, I checked off when alarm occurs, alarm status, which would be that alarm screen we set up earlier on, email group will be group one. And here you can either just do when alarm occurs, so uncheck these, or you can check these off when alarm is acknowledged and when alarm is cleared. Next, we want to create the email screen, and I call the email, and on the email screen, I've created an email log. Uh, to do that, go to Advanced Objects, 
email log. I created some multitask single state buttons on this screen as well. The first one will send an email and this one will send an email on fly, which I'll explain a little later on. And this one will clear the log. So for send email, the task will be send alarm status. So for the task, you go to send email for screen number. This will be the screen number and the screen name will be the name of the email screen we created, alarm status, and then group one, which is the only group we have. Uh, hit add and it will go over to the press task and then hit OK. Next, email on the fly for task, select email on fly and then add and it'll go over to the press task. And the email on the fly is just another option in which a user can send an email at the runtime. So while you're on the HMC device itself, another screen will pop up and you'll be able to enter to and of course the CC, BCC and subject line and then send an actual message through an email on the HMC device while it's in runtime. So after you configure the email on fly, hit OK. And for clear log, the task will be email log clear. So simply select task and define email log clear right here. And then add it over to the press task and hit OK. Now the email status is a text display. You do that by going to draw, display objects, data display, and then message display. And you drop it there. Now for the tag name for the message display will be the email status register. So in your system registers, you will search for email status register right here and hit OK. Now for ranges, these are the register you'll receive for the different responses you'll get. So zero is server connection timeout, one is response timeout. So you'll get these messages back when you send out an email. Once you've done all this, that is all you'll need for the email base screen. I've also created some go-to screen objects here to go back to the alarm screen as well as the home screen that I created. Once you've set all this up on the alarm screen as well as the email, you can now download and go online. So go to mode, go online with download. And if you are downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded once, so I just need to have application checked off. Hit download. and it may take a few seconds for the HMC device to load the application. Once it does, it will say run in the compile window, and then you know everything is working properly. Now you are online and looking at VNC Viewer. This is the actual HMC device. The next thing I'm going to show you is how you would send down email and also when it's triggered by an alarm. In a previous video, I showed the setup for the alarm screen as well as how you would trigger an alarm. To see that you can refer back to the how to program alarms tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. So from here let's click the alarm screen. I'm going to send out an email and now when I trigger an alarm it should send an email out automatically and I'll show you that in a little bit but let's trigger this alarm pressure out of range, no signal. Let's go to the email screen. And it shows that they were sent out here, all three of them. It says mail sent successfully. Now we can also hit the send email. You can also send an email on the fly, which can include a subject line. You just type who you want to send it to, subject and message, and then you would hit OK. Now let's check the email that it sent. And this is the email that it sent, as you can see from our contacts list. 
It was listed as Kyle and it was sent to maplesystemsvideos at gmail.com. Here is that screen we created, the alarm status. So when these alarms were turned on, it's saying that they were on, temperature, pressure, and no signal. After you receive the email and see that it was sent, you can clear the log and go back to alarms. And at this point, we can acknowledge all of these and then we can turn off the alarms and then clear all. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the How To Program Email and Alarms tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching. Music